Hey everybody, you're watching Sidestep Adventures. It's Robert. I'm out here with Daniel. It's been too long since you've been on the show. And today we're going on several adventures, but right now we are going to walk down some old railroad tracks and see what we can find down it. And these railroad tracks date back from like the 1880s, right? Yeah, 1888, I think, is when they were quote unquote founded. But, but uh, yeah, they've been around for a while. Um, this was actually part of the original SAM, the Savannah Americus, what was the M? Was it, was it I don't think it was Montgomery. I can't remember. But yeah, yeah. And the Sam Short Line, which ran, you know, throughout the southeast and then you ended up being bought out by somebody else in the early 1900s and bought up by somebody else and bought up by somebody else and eventually is what was the Sam is now part of all CSX. So. Cool. So we're going to check out these railroad tracks and uh, see what we find down them. So stay tuned. Yeah, sure enough. Somebody who had the bright idea to bring machete with them. I got one in the truck, so I need it. Yeah. They just stay on the track as much as we can, I guess. Yep. These are some. These are some pretty terrible boots. I forgot if you look at the uh, track that it usually has a date on it. <laughs> Doesn't mean that the railroad was laid then, but 1956. Yep, 1956. So that's when that rail was made. Cool. When did you say that you thought that this stopped being used? From what I found in the late 60s. Gotcha. Um, it's just, they added and added to it, and this actually ran all the way across the river into Alabama. Oh, wow. But they stopped using it. This definitely gets thick up here. <laughs> Maybe easy to walk the creek or something. Yeah, for sure. So we had to get off the railroad tracks because they're just so grown up we couldn't walk down them anymore. Which is it's kind of funny that the uh, the man-made path through these woods you can't walk anymore, but this yeah. this little natural natural wash we can. Nature always provides a better way, for sure. Some kind of scrap iron. Yeah. All right, guys. So we found something pretty cool down these railroad tracks you guys know I like old bridges and so here's an old railroad bridge for you and this is what this is a trussle right I think it's railroad yeah. trussle not a not a bridge got to use the proper terminology I'm not sure about this being the original structure but they've crossed this creek since the 1890s on yeah train, which is unbelievable All right, so now it's time to see if we can find a path down there through all the snakes and the, what is it, the, the copper-headed rattle moccasins? Cotton-headed rattle moccasins. That's it. Yeah. 
Right, so we were just tripping through some kudzu which is planted up here and fun fact actually in this county uh, I did another video of an old CCC camp and they planted kudzu out here to help the land stop eroding and we all know how that went down in history it just took over the south it didn't it didn't help anything it just made it just covered up the giant potholes yeah You think it's still safe to drive a train across it? A kitty train. Yeah. Check that out. I put two posts together. Oh wow. And look at all the lumber, or all the, not lumber, all the trees. Oh, yeah, that's a big old giant tire right there. Yeah. Or a support beam off something. I guess when it really floods out here, all these trees wash downstream and just pile against the bridge. And no one is put together. Two pieces in there. Yep. I was just about to say, if I sink in this mud, dang, I'm gonna count on you to pull me out. So I see you found the safer path, though. Well, I'll just keep moving, apparently. Yeah. And look at all of these stumps that have piled up against the, the bridge. I guess probably when this bridge was in operation, you know, maybe people would come out here and clear away the, the trees that collected up against it because I can't see that being any kind of good for the structural integrity of the bridge. You can see it there where the supports are busted out on that side. From getting hit by debris. Wow. Oh, look at that one that's been pushed over. Yep. And you can see the um, original rock bed underneath it right there. Sure enough. Now look at that big timber that's just hanging there. Got two. Six by twelve sandwiched together. Yeah. I guess it maybe they put it on top of a uh, one of these one of these posts. And I'm ah, I went down. I went down. I'm right here. <laughs> Into the muck. Ah! <laughs> I'm assuming that these that are rotted uh, right here, these are some, you know, older supports for the bridge because they don't match up, you know. That's maybe that's the that's it's, the original 1880 it's, it's portion. Neat to see. You can catch it on some of these, like that one over there has been put together with three different pieces. Son of oh. All right, Daniel just saved my life. <laughs> Daniel just saved my life. <laughs> so, that's some. Uh, it's, it's, that's some well, quick sidestep plan. now has a bloopers reel. Yeah, so. for sure. Anyway, you were saying, you were saying. <laughs> let me watch where I'm stepping. Not like um, that one, right, that third beam in the middle. You can see it's got one, two, three different sections to build it. They, I mean, they jointed it in the middle. That's just wild. Like that one there's the same way. They cut it down and jointed it. It's just that's neat. That is.
You know, it's funny because looking at this, looking at the construction of it, it doesn't look like it would be strong enough to hold a train because, you know, trains aren't light. No. And back then, they were steam trains. They were even heavier. Yeah. Because they were having to haul water and coal and everything else. They had, you know, a couple thousand rivets in them. And all. I mean, they were just, that's how much they weighed. big old spike driven in the ground right there probably yeah there's wood under here to keep this from eroding out from under it I would say the rot is definitely definitely taking a hold of this bridge see down there And I wonder when those those pillars that are obviously half rotted out. I, I was saying I wonder when those pillars that are, you know, half rotted away. I mean, they didn't go to this structure, so I wonder when those actually date back to. You know what what previous? Yeah. I'd be willing to bet they probably are. A piece of the. 1880 railroad, maybe, maybe. Look at that. That's yeah, gotta be 12 by 12 or 12 by 14. Yeah. That's, this thing is crazy. Here's a closer up shot of what we were talking about down in the creek of two of these timbers being put together. You can see there. It's pretty fascinating. Pretty fascinating. I think that's what, yeah, there it is. There's the top of this one. That one's perched on it and I guess they're nailed together somehow. Right yeah, probably so. Let's see, let's uncover it. Yep, there's a there's a nail. Probably a big old long nail. Here's another one. Now it's gonna fall apart because I pulled that off of there. <laughs> so Daniel was just pointing out, well, I had the camera off, how far down this bridge goes. If you look down here. It just keeps going and going as a bridge for a while. We both thought it was just a bridge over the creek, but it's pretty amazing how far it goes. You know, I don't know about construction of bridges or railroad trestles, I should say, and you know how to date how old they are, but I would think that this one would be pretty old considering all the rot because like the other one that I filmed that crosses the creek it has nowhere near the amount of of rot and damage that this one does I, I'd, I'd venture to guess that most of this is probably close to if not original yeah um, I mean like I said it's hard to tell but yeah if, it, if this was I, I really don't know it's, I know it's cool I know that <laughs> it is very cool 
So I know there's a lot of a lot of people that know more than I do about railroads and and bridges on there. So if y'all have any ideas about how old this bridge might be, let me know down in the comments. And can you be, imagine being a kid and finding this out in the woods and you know having all this area under here? I'd have a fort set up oh, under man, here. I'd have a whole a house built under here. We come out right. The reason why they built it this way is that all this is a, a floodplain. Yeah, probably so. Um, you know, you imagine 100 years ago, that creek probably wasn't that deep. You know, that the wash wasn't that deep. It's probably right here. Yeah. And then, you know, over the years, that soft sand it don't hold nothing. So. And from all those pretty big logs that are piled up against the the base of the bridge in the creek, I imagine that. This creek floods pretty serious yeah, after a good rain. To, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of timber that's washed up. But also, you know, they had many railroad service in here, so it wouldn't have anybody to clean it out. Because they yeah. used to have to service these things and keep all that stuff from piling up and just push the, just push the bridge. Look at this change in, in construction right here. Those are some... Those are some big old trees right there. Yep, you can see they're sitting on that another one right here. As it ends up down there. It's tied together. Oh, you alright? Yep. You alright? Alright, I got that on video. We're one for one then. <laughs> here we are. There's another pair of beams that are joined here. That's just neat to see. That's interesting. Right here you've got three of these trees holding the holding the bridge up over here. And then on this side you've got the three square pieces perched on top of a square piece down there. I guess that's a repair over the years. There's a little creek that runs beside the railroad bridge and there's some more some more older timbers right there from more pressure telegraph pole. Oh yeah, that could be. Might that be. could be. I was looking for that too. We go up right beside the bridge. This thing just keeps going. Big old pile of concrete. Huh. 
and some There's good old nothing else that's concrete on this whole bridge. Yeah. That's what we found anyways. Alright, we found the end of it. I think so. It's it's about time. We've been walking for what, about a mile now? <laughs> How long would you say that is, seriously? Quarter mile? Yeah, it was at least quarter yeah. mile. Quarter mile bridge. We have finally found the end. There's some old ones. Old old ones up here. Oh yeah, sure enough. Here's someone's old fence. When I see barbed wire like this, I wish I'd paid more attention to the history of, of barbed wire section in the old farm museum I filmed a while back. All right guys, well that's gonna bring this adventure to a close. I really hope you enjoyed seeing this old railroad bridge. This is a piece of old American infrastructure that's just sitting out here silently in the woods. And it's also, I think it's really neat to see the construction of this up close yeah. because it's, it's pretty interesting because in some areas it's not as strong as I would think it would be. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next adventure.